Hi everyone, this is Tracy from Woodcraft at Home. Uh, this week, forgive my voice if it goes, <laughs> this week we're going to do um, SVG jigsaws. Um, I'm going to do it differently though. I feel that jigsaws are a bit hard to try and show you in the Canvas workspace. There are other graphics programs that are easier to use for that and that you can do. Um, but they're a bit more advanced. So I've left that for now and what I've done, I've downloaded the SVGs from one of the online sites where they give you free ones. What started me off on this was because I'm doing a blog about um, the best sites to go for free SVGs as in they're, they're free, they're free to use and they're good quality because sometimes the quality is quite poor. So I've done a list of the best ones I've found to get free SVGs and then I thought well I'll do a jigsaw. So what I've done I will put on my um, download page a file and it's got a square, two different squares because there's um there's a bigger square like this so I'm going to do a square there's um, a smaller square so there's less pieces uh, you can resize them I know but the smaller square has less pieces so it fits together nicely there's A4 so like I've done a photo of my grandchildren to put on the A4 and then just uh, I've just done any old size and try, I'm going to try and fit it on and that's just a Christmas one I thought you could box it nicely and give it as a present or you could put it on a canvas there's so many different ways of doing this there's also in there a heart shaped one I haven't done a picture for that but um, obviously you know how to do that so we're going to use some um, construction board um, and I've done a little cheat because I have printed out on self-adhesive paper um, I'll put a link below where to get it it is from me um, I'll put it in my shop on the website but it's so much easier to use then um, it comes off in strips as well so you don't have to do it all in one go if you don't want to yeah, you can see it you can do it bit by bit I'm just going to do it all in one go. Just want to stick this end on. Make sure it's straight. Put your glasses on, Trace. Okay. Excuse me, sorry. That's that side, and then just it is really beautiful to use. And this is just the plain one because um, I do have a glossy one as well. But I don't. I prefer plain coloured photos. Uh, I don't like the gloss of the photo. So that's how easy that was. So now I just need to um, cut it down. I don't think I'm going to fit another one of them on the same card, so I'll just make sure I cut it down. Let's get this right. Finish that off with scissors. I don't know why that isn't. Gone all the way through. This is actually an old photo. I need to get an updated one. This is about a year ago.
Oh, let's see. So that's my photo cut out on the construction board. I'm hoping that one's enough actually, because I'm not sure if it will go through two sheets of board. So we're going to try that. I'm going to try doing one. So I've got my mat here. And obviously I'll be using the A4. So what you have to do, put the right, what you have to do is um, scan in the picture. Well, you bring your um, A4 onto the screen and then you scan in the picture and you put the puzzle over. Um, I wonder if it's better for me to just show you. Okay, give me a minute to set the camera up and I'll show you how to do it on the scanning car. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm over at the scanning car. Um, apologies for the darkness around it, but you can see the screen. So I'm going to retrieve data and it will bring up my jigsaw. And then this one here we're going to press start and it's going to scan the picture in. Okay, so you can see the puzzle is a tiny bit bigger, so I'm going to have to size it down. So we're just so it's about half an inch. Okay. Let me slooch you. So I've done it the size I want it, but you can go in here and check that you've got everything you want in there. I'll just no, I don't want you going down, I want that going down. Okay, yeah. I see I can't go any longer because it's the whole picture um, from top to bottom. So click OK. OK. OK, now I know it's over the whole picture. And that's it, it's just the same after that. Please select cut. It says it's only going to take five minutes. Now this isn't sticking down properly, I'm a bit worried about that. Because this I've just newly tapped this mat. Let's just see how it goes. Okay, so I have uh, cut out all three of the puzzles that I said. So I've got all the different size pieces of puzzle. So there's this one, that's um, the photo of my grandchildren. Now I've only done it on one piece of construction board, the 750, not the 1000. And to be honest, for me, it's enough. Uh, this is the, actually it's the same one that I used here. So it's still the A4. But I resized it and that's the size it's come out at. And then I had the square, the bigger square. So that's the bigger square. So you've still got bigger um, pieces in the smaller square. I used the bigger one. So um, I think it naturally comes at 
um, I think it's eight by eight. So these two are the A4 that I've, that one's that I've, I've resized. So the, you obviously you get the heart shaped one and you get a panoramic one as well, which is a lot wider so you can get a long picture in if you want. Uh, but like I said, the puzzle pieces are just done on one piece of construction board with the self-adhesive paper that I said, and it's definitely thick enough. So if you wanted to put them together, I don't know. They just came off all in different pieces, so I don't know. There we go, that's definitely that sun. Oh, I've only got one behind it. So you can see they go together nicely. I just wanted to show you that in case you was a bit unsure. Oh, I'm not very good at puzzles myself. So I've been trying to think of lots of different ideas. And I'm coming up with so many, it's ridiculous. I know that's my other son. I know my son when I see him. <laughs> um, okay, I don't want to waste your time trying to do the puzzle. But you can either make the picture yourself, so you just give in a picture puzzle away, and you can put it on a canvas. Actually, what I was thinking was kind of making the picture so that the pieces are separate but um, you could still see what it was. I thought that might be an idea. Um, the idea I've also got is that um, a box frame, I got this really cheap, a pound I think, um, but inside there you put the bag with the puzzle in an extra bit of board to stick the puzzle on and then they can put it in the frame. So that's another idea. Or on a card that they can take off the card and do it themselves like this. This might go nice on a card, the Merry Christmas one. But again, it's um, fitting it all together. <laughs> So they do fit together nicely and it definitely does work. Um, the only one I haven't tried is the heart. There you go. It's nice. So it's just giving an added idea for Christmas gifts, really, isn't it? So on a card, maybe if you was to stick it, to, if you wanted it stuck together, but they still had the puzzle, um, put the Velcro dots on the back, something like that. Just trying to think of different ideas, really. Okay, so... That's three of the puzzles and um, gives you an idea of what you can do. Obviously, you can do anything with it. I've done photos and then I've done just like a Christmas theme. But you can do whatever you like with it, can't you, really? Cut up any picture and then just go to town. Yeah, so there's picture frames, there's canvas, there's cards. Um, present it in a nice box with a small picture on the front of the box to show it off. Um, I've got a box making video if you want to go back to that. Uh, I think it's nice to make people make it. If that helps. Sorry, I'm concentrating on doing this just so that I can show you how easily it goes together. That goes there. Does that go there? No. Yeah. No. 
No. No, maybe. No. Ah, is that it? Yeah, there, look. So they're fitting together really nicely. Really easily, actually. Just working out. Hmm. Sorry guys, I just I just wanted you to see how easily it all slots in together. Just not sure where that bit goes. Oh, I see, it's there, look. Silly me. See, useless at doing these. <laughs> there you go, I've done the word, so you can see that it's um, easily put together. So I hope you all have fun with it. If you have any trouble, just uh, let me know and I'll help as much as I can. Uh, but go have fun. You can download it as usual on the website. It's all available there. Um, <clears throat> I've done it as part of my blog about free SVGs, which you can read on my blog. If you go to wecraftathome.com on the blog, you'll see it. And there's a list of the best places to go to collect free SVGs because sometimes we don't want to build our own, do we? Okay, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.